We got breaking news in the NBA involving Miles Bridges. The Charlotte Hornets forward has signed a 7.9 million qualifying offer with the Charlotte Hornets. Miles Bridges has the intentions of becoming an unrestricted free agent next summer. And I'm pretty sure this is a prove it deal here. We're going to figure out the ramifications of this situation. But the Miles Bridges news has finally come to bed. This was an unbelievable situation. Um, I'm here to report to you on this from Wojnarowski that, you know, some report, some uh, contract negotiations fell through and it didn't go 100 percent as planned. ESPN sources are stating that Charlotte Hornets restricted free agent forward Miles Bridges is preparing to sign a seven point nine million qualifying offer for the 2023-24 season, clearing the way for him to become unrestricted. Free agent next summer, Hornets and Bridges are far apart in extension talks. Um, so I mean, they, so basically, they, 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 the money, they're not agreeing here. So I don't know if this, what's going to cost them next summer. Is he on the way out the door? But Melo is the big domino to hold everything together. Listen, make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to Flight Sports TV for more news updates and more. But this Miles Bridges situation is unbelievable. I guess. <clears throat> We should hear next what's going on with P.J. Washington because, um, like I said, LaMelo was the big domino that just fell. Uh, when my, uh, what's, what's great about the situation is he's coming back to the Hornets. So even though it was on a one-year deal, let's see what happens. I think Miles Bridges, I already predicted this. I don't know if you've been living under a rock, but I said that Miles, I, the Hornets are going to the playoffs next year, and a large part is because Miles Bridges is going to come back with relentless abandonment, ladies and gentlemen. Miles is about to go ape on the whole NBA. Listen, his money just got played with. Even though he played with his own money, you understand the last time we seen Miles, he averaged 20 points per game. He shot nearly 50 percent from the field, 33 percent from three, seven rebounds, three assists, almost a steal a game. And he played 80 games that season. So you clearly see um, he, he's going to be on the floor. The Flint, Michigan product, he, he want to get paid. But I mean, listen, that situation that happened. We don't got to get all into it. I think we dived in it all last year. It, it was a mess for him, and he's still suffering the consequences of making that poor decision. But nonetheless, Miles Bridges is back with with Lamelo Ball, and that that's really what's most important here. You know, um, he's back in the Queen City. Um, Bridges still have to prepare. He's gonna miss some games. We all know that he's not coming back immediately, so be on the lookout for that as well. Miles Bridges got to miss, I believe, the uh, the <clears throat> part like is ten games remaining of that thirty game suspension for that for that situation that took place. So let's see if we can put this all to bed. Will Miles be able to regain, you know, his stature in the league and and possibly get that big payday that he wants? I I mean, listen, if he could get the Hornets, you know, to that to the playoffs and if he's averaging 20 plus and he's he's showing that he's a key cog in this team, there's no way in hell the Hornets could let him walk. He wants to remain in Charlotte. You know, um I'm pretty sure they all communicated, you know, and they got to keep the price tag low. I, does P, is PJ about to get the deal now because now they should have some money on the table. They didn't they didn't get miles. I thought they was gonna have to pay miles somewhere of a hundred plus million right now. But they probably just negated that to another season. But we we've seen this in the past where situations like this took place where they didn't get the deal and um they took the qualifying offer and that pretty much spelled their doom. You've seen that with Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward is on this roster. Um, I believe a similar situation took place in Utah. And then when he got the restricted free agency, Gordon Hayward, he, he made sure he walked. So you don't know. But, I mean, hopefully Miles is more lenient, understanding his situation is unique. You know, he's lucky to still be in the league. A lot of people are not even happy that he's coming back. But this is being reported that Miles Bridges is returning. And this is an unbelievable situation for Miles. Um and, and LaMelo Ball, like I said, it's time for the Hornets to get back to winning. 
And we all want to see the Hornets win at the end of the day. Nobody wants to see the Hornets um, continue to fail and things of that nature. It's time for them to get back into the thick of things in the Eastern Conference. We got to understand prior to all of the debacles that took place, the, the Charlotte Hornets was right there playing in that playing scenario. How can they regain their position and if not further? Number one, you must have Miles back in, in the trenches. If Miles isn't back, that that's a whole nother dynamic. You know, um, that's a big time loss if Miles isn't there. But this is it. This is a huge play. This is for NBA free agency, ladies and gentlemen. Fireworks is happening all over the board. Um, I've been patiently waiting to see what was goes on with this basketball team with the Charlotte Hornets because they had two huge dominoes that needed to fall. And knowing Hornets history, they're not known for an organization that put a whole bunch of money on the table. You know, obviously, LaMelo, they got backed into a corner. They had to pay him. There's no way they could have lost Melo, I mean, for nothing. It would have been seriously, like, devastating if they did that. But nonetheless, Miles Bridges has signed that qualifying offer, you know. And I think that this is one step closer to them them you know getting back in getting back in position that was about how long how's he gonna gel with this new basketball team but after 12 months of unknowns and speculation there's finally some clarity here like i repeat bridges is reportedly signing a qualifying offer for 7.9 keeping him in charlotte for one year so we don't know what happens i'm telling you i repeat they are far apart in extension talks far apart so we don't know what new ownership coming back. We don't know what this means, you know, uh, but something, something is brewing here with Miles. You know, he's a great player. Hopefully he can get back in position, you know, um, and we can get back to celebrating his basketball instead of his off the floor antics and things of that nature. That connection, that Airbnb connection is coming back. Miles will be back in training camp. But it's good. It's good to hear this, man. It's good. It's good to see this. That he'll be back on the floor. Now it's all about what's his future. But I want to hope that this this won't affect nothing because it's not like they just did this to him out of nowhere. I mean, you went through a crazy situation. You couldn't expect to get the big bag right now, and I'm pretty sure all of the people that was out there, like all of the stuff that was out there, it wasn't lucrative to the point where he felt like he deserved. It's best to just go on a one year, prove it. After all of these things you just went through, you got to play one year to prove yourself and, show, and remind people because you know they got amnesia. So you got to remind the people who the hell you are. And I have no doubt in my mind, Miles Bridges will do that. With LaMelo Ball, MB1, the one of one you can't have a better counterpart to help you get to your promising goal. So we're going to be documenting. We got breaking news on Miles Bridges. Make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports. Peace and love.